Okay, well, we're going to commit to this because yeah. today many designers are taking a cue from nature by incorporating palm trees into their prints they're doing all over. And they really cost a lot of money. Yeah. I've seen them in the stores. They're like a lot of money. Yeah. You're going to do it for like nothing. They're, yeah, well, there's the beebs. I mean, oh, look at oh, come on. Keith, there's, yeah. Keith Richards, oh, this Keith is back. something that a lot of celebrities, Olivia Wilde, we also have Kourtney Kardashian, all wearing this particular bomber jacket, which is done by YSL. This is the one that I saw that inspired me, the sort of silhouette print that I thought we could recreate. And it is, it's a huge trend. Sort of botanical, tropical prints have been huge, and the palm tree is kind of the standout. Love the jacket you're wearing. Yeah. Look at that. Okay, nice. so this was really oh, painted, you guys. Yeah. I did it in about an hour, um, and I'm gonna Great. show you, there's a couple different styles that you can do, and I'm gonna use this little whiteboard over here as a demo, because what I would recommend doing is when you guys start to play with this, you wanna sketch it to get like comfortable with it. Do it like 10 or 12 times until it's really comfortable, that way then when you paint, you're set. There'll be questions following. Pay yes, <laughs> the Q&A will yeah. be following. So what you're gonna do is just a straight line, that is your stem. Now it basically is a line down on either side, and now a slightly longer line down on either side. Now slightly longer, and then you get small again. You lost me. <laughs> no, you did it, Mark. <laughs> so it, when you're painting, this is like your skeleton. This is the basic shape of it. Now you can create those lines like this, when you're actually filling it in and painting it, you're gonna create these little like round triangle shapes. Christina, if you can create um, the one with the branches. Okay. Cre Christina did a version of this that's another way of doing it. She's and so it's, good at this. Stuff. She is, of course, she's super artistic. Now, um, I'm gonna do a jacket that is kind of like that famous street in California that has the palm trees on both sides. Mm -hmm. To create that look, all it is is two small ones, then you get bigger, then you get bigger, then you get bigger, yeah. and then that's your palm tree. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, the art drawing there. Yes, wow. so this is that style. No, it's called perspective. Mr. Jackson, on your shirt, if you wouldn't mind, I want you to do this. We're gonna do the classic crisscross palm tree on a pocket as a cool men's version. So to do that, crisscross, and then Apple you're gonna do thought. your palm tree here. So this will be your palm tree. Okay. So I'll have you practice on yours. I'm gonna work on mine. Okay. And this, what Christina's doing is another version. Instead of using the skeleton and then creating those triangles, you make the little branches. And real quick, what was the direction of the third line she drew? Vertical. 17, so. <laughs> yeah. Just checking. It's called what? It was a half moon. Perspective. It's called perspective. I'm going to right. I'm gonna keep saying it till. So now what you do is you can, if you can see, I've done it really lightly, but I've used a crayon here and just to create my lines. So now you always start with your lines first. I'm going to go in. I decided to do a really bright color. And this is where you don't need to be really clean about it. That's why you want to have those lines so that now you can be free to not be so perfect. And is this paint that will stay on when you wash it? Like, yes. Okay, okay. Yes. Okay, so this is called Jacquard fabric paint. This is my absolute favorite fabric paint because whether you wash it one time or 70 times, it stays vibrant, vibrant, strong. Wow. It never fades. You just have to heat set it. So what you would do is, um, once it's dry, you take an iron for about 30 seconds. You put a protective coat, like a piece of linen or a thin cloth on top of it, and then heat set it. But and it will heat set and get really soft, and then it will be forever machine washable. Morley, what is it about the palm tree, though, that has captured the you know, designer's attention? It's like anything, Mark. It's just sort of like one brand does it, it becomes cool, and it's mm -hmm. just sort of something everyone wants. But it's so wants. iconic, too, I mean. It is, wow. especially when you're on a vacation. That's why, yeah. when you think of palm trees, you think of vacation, yeah. you think of pineapples, you know what yeah. I mean, coconuts. Yeah. So, yeah. Mr. Jackson, that wow, looks beautiful. Look now, you can get in there with yeah. your paint. Wow, here. Paint I'm gonna off. give you a black, black paint. <laughs> Just dip it in there with your paintbrush and go over it. Oh my God. Now, so I'm gonna do mine and I'm gonna make mine kind of messy as just another version for you guys to see. So you can kind of just go like this. Okay. So if you can see, you know those, um, there's like those branchy ones that aren't the long sort of uh, Florida looking ones. They're like those bushy ones. I'm very impressed with Christina and Tito right now. I know, oh. Christina, do you remember Christina's um, 
the handbag that we made yes. with the yeah. red boots. Yeah. I mean, that's like, I, I wear that she's a great Wait, artist. Christina today? Right. Yeah. <laughs> Melissa, how attached are you to this dress? Um, yeah, yeah. Are we going to pay Melissa? I Melissa? would pay you money. <laughs> money if you would do that right yeah. now. Yeah. Uh, really? Are you really going to do it? Let's, just, let's, paint. let's paint Melissa's dress. There you go. Just you look really good with a couple of I feel like trees. Derek's shirt is a little more yeah. inexpensive. I'm sorry, but I'm going to take Christina's home. Thank you, Melissa. Yeah. Isn't that so beautiful? And so once you do it, what she's done really well is she's using multiple colors so you can do all solid colors like this or you can get in there and use the whites to create yeah. shadows and shapes uh -huh. and that is entirely up to you one thing with fabric paint just a sort of a, a little note is that you're not going to have as many colors so use your whites and use your blacks to mix and create custom colors because they don't come in that wide a variety right. like acrylic paints. Do we want to put a cardboard underneath? Mm -hmm. Do we want to separate between yes. front and back? Yes, so what I've done is I have that here. Uh -huh. It's like a little felt that I've used. That was actually because this fabric is kind of slippery and I needed uh. some traction. But you would also want to do that, put just a little something in between. between. In my okay. jacket, it bled through a little bit, but it's oh, it the did. lining. Like it's, what is, I mean, who cares, yeah. right? That doesn't yeah. really matter. But just I to be safe, jacket. if it's a thin fabric, you'll want to do that for sure. Wow, I but this is it. It's really kind of freehand, and you want to just focus on the silhouette look of it because from far away, it gives you that perspective. You know, if you're doing a really large one, that's when something like this. What did they spend great. on those? The ones that you showed. Well, I saw ones are like in the in the thousands. They're really are they really? Yeah. 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 Wow. This was four dollars and thirty eight cents, by the way. Wow. Well, <laughs> you know, I'm going with huh? that. I'm going with that. You want to go to our business? Messiness. Voila. And you, that this is so chic. And I love how you paired it with look you. At, look at I know. Mr. Jackson, sir.